Alright, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got in store is going to be opening up and checking out some more products sent to me by Kakapopo TCG. Well, actually it's just one product today. They just sent me two flavors of it. I believe the black and the silver version. This is going to be the Briefcase A6. I believe it's a large aluminum uh, briefcase that has lockable closures on it. I believe it's padded inside and I think it has Velcro dividers that you can kind of customize uh, the spacing of your compartments on the inside. Really cool to check this out. Uh, Kakapopo TCG is a really cool company. They sent me some stuff in the past. Uh, I will let you know that they sent me all this stuff for free but I'm still going to give it my unbiased, honest overall opinion and review of these products. I'm not going to let the free products cloud my judgment. So just keep that in mind. I'm just gonna be giving it my review of what I truly think about the products. Uh, anyways, I was the one who initially contacted Kakapopo TCG. I was very interested in this particular deck box right here. Uh, the deck fast deck box, I thought it was a really fun design and idea. It's a deck box that looks like a milk car. How much, how much more fun could you have? Really cool design. Did a video review on that. Anyways, this is where uh, I started working with Kakapopo TCG. Really awesome company. And since then, they sent me some other stuff. They sent me... Uh, they have their monolith deck box system, which is like a modular design. If you want, you can make this as tall as you want or as short as you want. Really cool design. They also sent me some of their metal dice, which are really nice. Really great construction, super heavy. Really cool metal dice. Did a video on all of this. And they've also sent me, uh, in the past, this giant dice storage case as well. Really nice kind of dice storage case. I've done a video review on all of these things. I'll put links to the descriptions of all the items that they sent me and I've done reviews on in the past. So just look for those in the description. Anyways, I believe they sent me two versions of this one. I believe they sent me a, the black and the silver version. Since they did give me these products for free, I don't need both of them. I will be doing a giveaway for the silver one of these. Probably check back in about a week. I'm sure I'll put all the information in the description of this video as well. But I will be giving uh, away one of these to one of my viewers. Just because I don't need two of these and I'm sure one of you would love to have it as well. So anyways, I'm just going to open these up, give my review, my overall opinion. We'll see what fits in, what doesn't, and let's go from there. These are some pretty large boxes. I will be saving one of the boxes for when I send it to one of my viewers, but let's just kind of go at it. There we go. I do like how the boxes say Kakapopo TCG. I think they have a fun name. It reminds me of like a, a bird or something. I'm not sure why, but it just does. And it looks like this top one is the black version of it. Let's just take this out. Whoa, super nice. I'm just gonna take them both out real quick and then go from there. Let's just make some room for some stuff. Boxes go behind, set this one right here. And let's just open up this top one as well. This is the silver version. Almost hit the camera right there. And let's just take out the silver version as well. Very tight in the boxes. Very tight. And let's just take this off. Oh, wow. Very nice. Take off the bubble wrap. Okay. Let's see what we're working with right here. Wow, these are, these are beefy. These are large and in charge. Wow. Um, okay. Which one shows up better on camera? Well, obviously they are the same, just uh, really the color is the only difference right here. You got the silver version right here with all kind of chrome looking metal uh, parts on here. Really cool, they have a metal connection between the handle as well. Very nice to see that. Oh uh, wow, it even has uh, their logo right here kind of stamped out, Kakapopo TCG, some like aluminum piece right there. Very cool. Uh, all of these are like riveted together. It looks like all of the corners have some like aluminum kind of corner protectors. There are some little plasticized feet on it as well if you want to set it down on the ground without scratching your floor. Very cool. So I guess I'm probably going to just be uh, checking out the black one on camera just because uh, I don't have room for all of these. But I'll be taking some pictures of these as well, I'm sure, for like... Uh, the thumbnail and stuff like that. So I'll be checking out these as well. I'll just set the silver one to the side for now. And let's just focus on the black one. So let's just kind of go over all of the sides. Um, you can see right off the bat, I believe it is like aluminum construction. It is that sort of like briefcase looking thing. Uh, my fingerprints, uh, just because my hands are always warm, they just show up for a second just because it's like warm on metal and it's just the humidity, but it doesn't leave any marks. 
it kind of just instantly goes away. You got the Kakapopo TCG logo right here in the corner. It is like riveted on there, which is nice. Uh, it looks like this whole thing is held together by like rivets. It does look like aluminum siding on it. Feels like pretty good construction. Got metal hinges on it, very nice. Got like plasticized feet on the bottom, just so it doesn't scratch up the floor. You can actually set it down without worrying about it scratching up your wood floor or something like that, or your table. I really do like how it has their logo on it. Uh, all the sides, same looking material, all this sort of metal material. The back of it, there is no logo here, just the solid sort of aluminum sheet. This thing is strong. I honestly feel like I could probably stand on this but I probably don't want to. I feel like I could stand on it. It maybe would buckle, but it feels pretty tough. The top is a little bit more bendy than the bottom, but this thing is this thing is tough to be honest. This is a beast of a case, and I do like how it has the locking mechanisms. If you want, you can lock this to make your products seem a little bit safer or your cards seem a little bit safer. Um, it is a metal metal locking system. There is a metal connector to the handle to the case itself. The handle itself is plastic, but this is the thickest plastic I've seen for like a handle from this company. I really like it. This plastic kind of reminds me of like tool plastic, like the end of a screwdriver, something just very heavy. It does feel like there is a little bit of like, uh, let's just take this off. There we go. There's some like little chrome protector right there. Always got to get that off. And uh, just the handle itself, kind of like the design of it too, just like a thick plastic, interesting sort of metal chrome inlay on it. Yep, and then, yep, got the handle on it. Uh, this is the thickest handle that I've seen for a while. Um, even though it's not metal, I'm very happy with it. I'm not worried about this handle breaking or anything like that. Feels very nice. And then let's just go ahead and pop it open. Let's pop it open. I believe you just like any other sort of briefcase. Wow, those are, those have some spring to it. Boom, boom. Very nice, very nice. And we'll play around with the locking mechanism too. Wow, very nice. And, uh, all right, let's just kind of go around and see what we see. Looks like we have some dividers in here. Do they come out? Okay, they do. Looks like they're just some sort of uh, velvet, maybe cardboard lined with uh, Velcro just on the ends right there. And I believe they will even, yep, they will even stick to themselves just in case you want to do like some sort of T formation right here and put like dice or something like that in there. So it's really cool that you can customize this. I'll just take out all the dividers right now. It does come with... I believe just four dividers. Very cool, four dividers. Just gonna go through all this stuff. Little silica packet, don't really need that. Actually, I'll keep that for my foils, that's a good idea. Um, and this is the locking mechanism. Let's see what you do. Uh, with the lock open, push button one. Button one is probably the only button. Yeah, push button one in the direction of arrow. Hold until second operation has been performed. Set more worst shield, design combination, desired combination. Don't forget the combination you have set. Okay. So let's set this lock real quick. Oh wow, come with a really cool packet of dividers right here. A whole assortment of a whole bunch of colors. Wow, that's that's actually really nice. I really like these. I like their dividers a lot. Very cool. Wow, look at all these colors. A little bit of red on that one. Just like uh, some sort of, whoa, I'm not sure what that is. But that's like fingerprint. You see that? One, two, three, four, five maybe? Bizarre. Anyways, uh, just some like dividers. Not sure why this one has some like red smudging on it. Very bizarre. Um, but I like their dividers. They're just like sort of uh, plastic. Uh, these ones are a little bit matte on the back. Just like stamped out of something. I can see just like a big cookie cutter just going psh, something like that. Interesting. Some of these green ones have some smudges on them. Not sure what that is. Maybe it's just a little bit of plastic or something like that. But really cool. They come in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen dividers are very weird that some of them do have some marks on them. I will be setting those aside. Even the white one has some marks on it. Let's just see. Not sure what that is. The green ones, all of the green ones seem to have marks. All of the white ones seem to have marks. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure if one of the workers had some sort of uh, dye on their fingers. Interesting. I might not be using these ones against cards just because I'm not sure. Or maybe I'll just try to clean them off. But very bizarre. I'd be curious to open up the silver one to see if those ones have marks on it. I'll be doing that as well just to check. But cool that they do come with dividers. It's kind of weird that they have little uh, red marks on it. I don't know what to make of that. Weird. Not my favorite that they have those. Probably won't be using these ones, so I'll just kind of set them aside. Um, I guess let's ch check out the locking mechanism real quick. 
So first off, you want to remove these little red, these little red safety pins. I'll just set them to the side. And I believe it said you have to push the button one in. If I can get this other red safety pin out. All right, so you push the button one uh, in. You can see this little tooth actually pushes in. I'm just going to set the combination to one one one. And obviously you want to align them up with the middle, the highest point for the circle. So the middle is what you want to set to. So right now I believe I set this one to one one one, and I will do the same over here. Push in on it. Set it to one, one, one. And uh, now it should only open up on that combination. Let's spin these around. All right. Oh, yeah. Definitely locked. That's a solid lock, too. Let's just go to one, one, one. Boom. Again, solidly locked. Everything's there. I really like the locking uh, mechanism. All metal. Feels really good quality. Let's see. One, one, one. Boom. And when you're on it, it opens up quite easily. So very easy to set uh, the lock. Very easy. Uh, this also came with some foam dividers or foam kind of inserts. I hit it. It's foam kind of squishy inserts as well. Maybe if you want to put like singles or something, you put this on the top so it kind of fits a little bit more snugly. I'm not sure, but probably best to hold on to this just in case you want to use this for any dividers or anything. Even if you want to, you could probably like fold it up and like put it here. Uh, to push against something. So I'd probably keep these to be honest. Uh, the inner construction of this box feels like it is velvet lined. This is very thick. This almost feels like a piece of wood. It might be a piece of wood in here. I'm not quite sure. Uh, the sides, these sides are padded. They are squishy with a velvet lining on them. Feels like some sort of foam. Definitely some sort of foam velvet lining. The bottom feels like some sort of vinyl, some sort of sticky plastic. Not like sticky, but like it has a bit of grip to it. Uh, the top of construction has this sort of egg egg crate sort of look. Uh, this this squishy cr uh, foam, I guess, to really cradle in your cards, which is really nice. Again, the top is velvet lined outside of that. I don't know if this top part will come out. It looks like it's glued in there, but honestly, I'm okay with in there. I want it there for extra storage. All of the lining uh, is like aluminum for the edges. Everything is aluminum. The closure is aluminum. This bottom part has like a little lip sticking out. And this top part right here has like a cave. So the lip and the cave kind of fit together, making the lid not really jostle around. It's kind of uh, like a like kind of like this. It, it sticks together and it's not going to move around so it's not just like flat on flat closure. It is like a toothed closure which is pretty nice. Really like that. Uh, the hinges seem like they're really great quality. So just check it out from behind. Very interested about this interesting metal. I think this is just keeps it so when it opens up it props it open. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. So this just keeps it so it doesn't fall flat. It keeps it propped open at 90 degrees, which is very nice. Very cool. And the hinges are all metal. I'm not worried about them breaking off or anything like that. Very cool. Overall, very satisfied with the construction of this box. Let's mess around with um, these storage dividers. So I believe um, in this middle section right here, this middle section actually doesn't come out. If there was one thing, I wish that the middle section could come out if you wanted to and then slot back in. Yeah, that would be the one thing, but since it can't, uh, it, it just can't. I wish it could, though. Anyways, we have these Velcro dividers. It comes with four of them. I believe that means you can make uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe you can make any combination of six, six uh, storage parts. You could probably order more of these Velcro um, kind of dividers if you wanted to as well. And I do like how they are even sticky to themselves. So if you want to make some sort of like T divider section, you could do something like that. And honestly, these things are tough in there. I could probably pick up the whole box by just the Velcro divider itself. I'm not worried about, yeah, I can. I'm not worried about these sliding around. These are, these are in there. Very cool. And you can also have them on the top section as well. So very cool that it comes with these sort of Velcro dividers. I really like that. So you can kind of customize your storage space. Very cool idea. And uh, yeah, I'd be very curious if the inside of the silver lining is uh, black or silver. I'm not sure. We'll check that out after just very briefly. Very cool. So got the four dividers. Very nice. And then you got these little sponge little things here. And a bunch of these dividers as well. Really cool dividers. A little bit bummed that they did have like some pink ink on it. I'm not sure what that is. 
Not sure what that is. Uh, I'll be checking out the other one to see if that one has the pink ink on it as well. And we'll just go from there. Now I just want to test this with a whole bunch of assortment of deck boxes, cards, etc. Actually, right before that, I want to do a little bit of measurements. I want to measure this. I've never done this, but this is, I believe, big enough or it deserves a measurement. This is 14 and a half inches, uh, the width of it. The height of it is, I would say, nine, just over nine inches, like nine and a quarter inches. Yeah, just like nine and a quarter inches, if you can see it right there. Nine and a quarter inches by 14 0.5 inches and the width of this thing um, what is it like five inches four just just about four and a half inches just about four and a half inches if you can see right there just under but just about four and a half inches you can see the ruler right there or the there we go all right so i just want to do a little bit of measurements maybe i'll include that in the video as well and i just want to see the inside storage compartment the inside storage compartment is just about 13 and a half inches a, a hair more and each of these compartments seems to be about four inches yeah just about four inches so it's about 13 inches 13 and a half inches by four inches so keep that in mind just over 13 and a half inches by four inches just want to do some measurements I feel like with these bigger cases I'm sure some of you would be curious about that so hopefully that makes sense anyways let's just test this with a whole bunch of deck boxes and stuff like that first off the deck fast deck box will this fit in here looks like it will obviously fits in there perfectly fine so the deck fast deck box will fit in there I have this random deck tr uh, deck in tray case 100 plus did a review on that that looks like it's gonna fit in there as well and I do like how there is the foam, uh, the foam on the top of it, because it kind of does, uh, it, it gives it a nice little padding in there, kind of squishes in there, so it's not really going to jostle around too much. And I will say, um, pretty much the usable space in here is just about to the top of this case right here. There really isn't a whole lot of wiggle room with the foam here. So if you're going to be filling this up with stuff, don't have it sticking out way too much of this uh, bottom part, or it probably won't close. So these two will fit. Let's check out some more. Got the monolith modular deck box from Kakapopo as well. This thing is way too big. If you can see it's way sticking up, it ain't gonna, no way it will close, so it ain't gonna fit. <laughs> but wow, if you wanted to, you could almost fit three of the units in there. Very cool. Set this to the side. Whoa. Didn't mean to knock the camera right there. And let's check out the Ultimate Guard Twin Flippin' Tray. Way too big. Won't fit in there. Let's check out just some random Ultra Pro or is this Legion's deck boxes, just like the classic size. Oh wow, they fit in there very snugly. Very snugly. You could either fit them in sideways, but I like the way that they fit this way. They fit very snugly, and if you want to, you could like throw in a divider. And once I test all these, I'm going to be loading it up and then just kind of giving it my overall weight test. I got just an Ultra Pro Mana Flip box. Will this fit in there? It's a little bit tight that way, but you can fit it in this way. I have uh, this one right here, the Dex Protection, one of the Pro Line boxes. It's way too big. This is so bizarre. It's purple in real life, but it turns up on the camera very blue, very bizarre. Uh, yeah, won't fit in there. Let's check out, uh, I have the Boulder, one of the boulders. This is the 80 plus. Fits in there just perfectly. These are fun cases as well. Fits in there just perfectly. I think they definitely did some sort of sizing to make sure that just like classic deck boxes will fit in there very nice. I have a random sort of a storage container. What is this, Friday Night League or something like that? Just like a cardboard storage container. Got it from my card shop a long time ago. This fits in there perfectly. Very cool. So this will just fit in there as well. Uh, and then I also have a fat pack. Will a fat pack fit in here? Nope. It's way too big. It won't fit in there. One thing I will say is I wish that uh, this middle divider would come out, but since it can't, um, it pretty much limits it to just deck boxes and stuff like that. Otherwise, I would test it with like a uh, some sort of like portfolio or binder, but I know that they won't fit just because I haven't found a binder that's just the height of a card. Maybe one day they'll have a single binder that's only one card per page, which will be fun, and I will do a review on that. Um, Anyways, let's just kind of load it up. Actually, I want to test it with cards real quick. Let's just see 
I have a pile of just top loaders. Will the top loaders fit? Very, eh, they will fit. They fit a little bit tight, but if you wanted to use this thing for top loader storage, just like hundreds of top loaders, I'm sure you could get away with it. You could put lots of top loaders in there. So I'll put a top loader. I will put a some unsleeved cards. Let's go ahead and just load this up with some, well actually just sleeve cards I mean, just uncased cards. There we go, there's one. Let's just open up some of these boxes, take out all the cards and go from there. Really just load it up. And uh, these dividers as well. Let's go ahead and use this. Got this divider. No idea where this goes, so I'm just kind of using the dividers. I do like these dividers that they give you, though. I really do. Just a shame that some of them have the ink on it. I'm not sure if that's a common thing or I just got the unlucky batch. Let's just open up some more. Just really kind of just loading this up full of all sorts of... Yeah. All sorts of cars. Just want to test this to its limits. I might not even have enough cards on hand to really fill this. There we go. So this thing can fit a whole bunch of decks in here. One, two, three, four at least. Let's just keep going. Will it fit these random little containers? Uh, from the Ultimate Guard Twin Flip and Tray, it will fit these little green containers as well. If you do want to like use them for storage or something like that. But I'm just going to be testing them with the cards themselves. And then lastly, let's just fit in this last little green deck. And then see. Very cool. So this thing is just chock full of cards, to be honest. Very interesting. I do like the look of it. And you, again, you can take these dividers, sit them in there. I do like how the tab is, is on the long side as well. Definitely made for this sort of, this uh, briefcase as well. Let's just sit all these dividers in here. Very cool. And they do give you a whole bunch of them. And they do, they do close. It does close with the dividers in because I believe they just kind of go up into this sponge bar right there. Very cool. Just fit the last couple in there. All right. And then now let's just put the remainder, I guess, the deck boxes in this top shelf right here. Now, let's do this one. Just the classic ones. Got the boulder. Let's put uh, this one. And then let's put this here. A little divider right here. Very strange shape, kind of making it a diagonal divider here. It does work though. And I'm just going to fill the remainder of these with dice. If you want to carry dice and stuff like that. So this thing is fully loaded. It is heavy and ready to go to your next Friday Night Magic or whatever you want. So I'm just going to close it up, shake it around a little bit, and let's just see what happens. Let's just make some room. Again, like the locking part on it. Very nice. Super heavy, very heavy, um, just kind of shake it around a bit. This thing is heavy, I feel like if I drop it, it will dent my floor. Very nice, all right, kind of gave it the shake around. Very cool, and it does. I do like the locking on it. Uh, the clasp on it feel very safe. If you're worried about it coming undone, just, just change it so it won't unlock. So I'm just gonna go back to unlocking it. Boom, boom, unlock. Nothing crazy happened. Literally just one of the dice flipped around. Overall, this thing's pretty solid and pretty sturdy. This thing is loaded full of cards. Honestly, maybe like 10 pounds, a little bit more. I'm not really sure. Pretty heavy duty, to be honest. Pretty heavy duty. Close it up, Do a couple more. Very nice. Like it, really like it. Nice briefcase, the handle seems to be on there pretty securely. Wouldn't be too worried about carrying this around town or anything like that. Um, yeah, this is a beast of a case, honestly. This thing is heavy and loaded up to the brim. Wow, very cool. Really like it. Anyways, I'm gonna grab the silver one. We'll open up that one and check it out real quick just to see if the dividers or anything like that have any of the marks on them and just to see if the silver one looks any different on the inside just in case you're curious about ordering the silver one yourself. So I'm gonna close this up, grab the silver one and go from there. Okay. And now we have the silver one on camera. 
Very nice. Very cool. Same looking uh, design. Uh, aluminum corners, aluminum construction. Everything's just uh, chromed out. You got chrome locks. Everything's still made out of metal. The handle is the same. The handle is the black part still. And uh, wow, the rubber feet on the bottom, they're even different as well. They're sort of a gr off uh, silver gray sort of rubber as well. I do like how everything is chromed. Very cool. Same construction. Pop it open. Let's see. On the inside, it is still black on the interior. And I'm just very curious if these are have any ink or anything like that on them. I think I maybe just got unlucky. Yeah, these ones seem to be perfectly fine and clean. Very cool. So I think I just got unlucky with that first batch, uh, but honestly, not that big of a deal. Really not that big of a deal. Just close this up. Really like the construction of these boxes. And yeah, I will be doing a giveaway for this silver one right here. Uh, if you are interested, just go ahead, leave a comment in this video. Uh, let me know what you'd want this or why you use it for and uh, that you want to enter in the giveaway. And I believe probably like a week from when I upload this video, I will be doing a giveaway contacting you uh, and then we'll be able to message through my email and we'll get the information where I'll send out uh, the case to you. Very cool case from Kakapopo TCG. This is the briefcase A6. It's all aluminum construction. You got the locking mechanism on it. Very nice, very solid. Everything seems to be made out of metal. The handle is plastic, but it is a very thick plastic. Reminds me of like a screwdriver handle or something like that. Really like the closure on it. Really like how there's a bunch of padding on the inside. It does come with a bunch of dividers, which is very nice. Very strange that mine has a little bit of marking, markings on it, but the ones from the other case have none. Can fit a whole lot of cards in here. I think I have one, two, three, four, like five, six, seven, almost like seven decks. And you can put a whole bunch of cases as well. I like the kind of Velcro uh, compartments that you can kind of customize however way you want. Uh, this will fit top loaders in here. This will fit unsleeved and sleeved cards, double sleeve, whatever you want. And it does come with the nice dividers, which is really cool. So you can really easily see. Um, where your cards start and end if you want to keep decks in there unsleeved or if you want you can literally just like slip in a bunch of these kind of ultra pro deck boxes and I believe you can put them in uh, this way if you wanted to you can even put them in sideways very cool really fit a whole bunch of them in there which is pretty sweet uh, I wish I had like 10 of these so I could test how many fit but I don't uh, I measured I measured uh, the width of this thing, so if you wanted to do a little bit of math, you could measure one of your Ultra Pro deck boxes or whatever deck box and see if it would fit in here. Like I said, where's my measurement? Uh, these are about four inches, just about four inches uh, uh, in height, and the length of them is just about 13 and a half just about 13 and a half inches. So keep that in mind. And the exterior dimensions of the box, I'll just do it one more time, just in case some of you missed it. It's gonna be 14 and a half inches by about nine and a quarter inches. And then the width of this thing is just about, um, just a little over four inches. So about four and a quarter inches. If you see that right there, a little bit less though, just over four inches. So that is the dimensions of this. Anyways, just want to say thanks again to Kakapopo TCG for sending me these products. I love checking out your stuff. I think you're a very innovative company. I'll leave a link in the description for all of their other reviews and their website. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was help. I hope it helped you make a decision. Uh, would I recommend this A6 deck case or briefcase? Yeah, I would. It's a very sturdy looking briefcase. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure what the price of this is. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure, but I put a link in the description of it. But it is a very solid construction. I do like the, how it is metal. I do like how it's locking on it. It doesn't seem like a cheap uh, item. It really doesn't. It feels pretty sturdy. I wouldn't be worried about uh, losing my cards or anything like that. And a really fancy way to carry around your collection if it's something that you truly do care about. Anyways, Really cool product from Kakapopo TCG. I want to say thanks again for sending me this stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, keep on keeping on. I'll catch you all in the next one. And have a beautiful, wonderful day. After finishing the video, I realized I forgot to test one of my favorite deck boxes. The Ultra Pro Satin Tower. Will this fit inside the briefcase A6? Yes. Yes, they will. They will fit inside the briefcase A6. So, I believe that covers all the deck boxes that I own. Hopefully that answered some questions that you had. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Have a beautiful, wonderful day.